Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan, our cameraman is Henry, and today we're going to show you the Surveyor 240 BHLE. We'll go ahead and get started up front. This does have your power tongue jack here. It does have an LED light, so if you're hooking up after dark, you have light. You also have the adjustable foot pad at the bottom along with your chain hanger here on the side. Behind the tongue jack, you have dual 20 pound LP tanks with your easy access lid right here, hard case cover. And then also behind here, we have a battery shutoff switch. Nice radius front end here with your diamond plate rock guard here at the bottom. And as we move to the front storage compartment, that is a motion detector light. Nice storage there. And then beside the, the light in here is an adapter. That adapter is for your stabilizer jack down here at the bottom right here and you do have the four manual stabilizer jacks one at each corner 18 foot uh, power awning so this is a power awning you do have the easy adjust so you can adjust the pitch of the awning on either end that way if it's raining or something it can run off of one end or the other you do have the stable steps at the entry door uh, this is an adjustable step so you can adjust the legs so if the contour the ground is uneven you can adjust that accordingly and you do also have your nice assist grab handle at the entry door you do have uh, easy lube axles along with self-adjusting brakes you also have the outside speakers here those have the blue LED light in them porch light along with your white LED uh, light on your awning here in the back is your outside kitchen this is a pretty neat outside kitchen they now come with the griddle uh, which is very easy to set up and take down. Basically, this shelf slides into here, this shelf slides into here, and then you slide it back into the camper. So, uh, pretty pretty neat setup, along with your mini fridge there as well. Here you do have a quick connect port, so you do have your uh, coil spray hose that you can snap into there for your water source. Here at the back is your 4x4 tube bumper. This is where you would store your sewer hose. You also have your roof ladder. It does come with your bike utility rack. Spare tire is mounted on there for you, ready to go. You also see at the top underneath the clearance light is a black box that is prepped and ready for a backup camera if you would like to add one. 30 amp outside connection. It does come with your detachable cord. So it does, the cord is included with that. Up here we do have your black tank flush. So after you dump your black tank, you can connect a water hose to this to blast out your uh, holding tank. City water connection, if you're at a campsite, you connect your water hose to that, then you have your cable satellite connection beside that. Now we'll move up in front of the slide room area. Here is your fresh water connection, so if you are dry camping, uh, you can fill your fresh water tank through this port and um, turn on your water pump switch on the inside for your water supply. Um, also, another thing I forgot to mention, this does come with a solar panel. There's an 80 watt solar panel on the roof. So you can go uh, somewhat off grid if you'd like. If you'd like to go completely off grid, you'd probably have to add another solar, pan solar panel to that one. Outside water heater, or a six gallon gas electric DSI water heater. DSI standing for direct spark ignition. Uh, down here in the corner is an on and off switch. That's the electric side of the water heater. And then I'll show you the gas switch when we get to the inside. But you can heat up to 10 gallons of water with gas or electric 16 with a combination of both. And this would be the other side of your pass-through storage. You'll notice also that the storage compartments do have magnetic catches. So you just flip it up and it holds it into place. Uh, also, another thing I'd like to mention, Surveyor does a very good job construction-wise. A lot of manufacturers say they're aluminum frame, which is around the outside, but Surveyor goes the extra step and also frames, frames up each opening. So whether it's a compartment or a window or whatever it is, they frame that in as well. So I believe that concludes the outside of the Surveyor and now uh, 240 BHLE and now we'll move to the inside. On the inside, we have your Murphy bed towards the front. We have your dinette in the slide room area. I'll just do kind of a brief spin around here so you can see what the inside looks like. Bunk beds, bathroom in the back, and then your kitchen immediately to the inside. 
of your entry door. We'll go ahead and get started here at the kitchen. You'll notice on the back side there is a nice large cabinet door here for storage as well as a wastebasket. You have seamless countertops, nice high-rise kitchen faucet, and this is a single bowl, what they call a farmhouse style sink. So it is the nice single bowl square, stainless steel. At the end of the kitchen base cabinet is uh, your pet bowls, so it is pet friendly. A bank of two drawers. Also have a bottle opener mounted right here for you. And have the oven glass drop-in cooktop. This gives you more countertop space when you're not using your oven and also serves as a splash guard. So this is like a bifold cover that you can fold back as well as uh, using it as a splash guard. At the back, you do have a knife holder, utility holder, as well as a cup for your spoons and spatulas and that sort. Microwave in the overhead cabinet, nice large 10 cubic foot. So they've upgraded from Previously, they used to be an eight cubic foot refrigerator. These look more like residential. They are 12 volt, and that is part of the reason you have a solar panel on the roof. So very nice and large, spacious. Gives you that residential feel. Bunk beds in the back. Nice, large double bunk over double bunk. And down below, you'll notice also is storage underneath. And in this box here are your power cord and your override handles and the soaps. Moving into the bathroom, we have your toilet that gives you the nice leg room that you're looking for, vanity, and a medicine cabinet, nice shower along with the skylight, the bath fan, linen closet on the back side. So you see this is not a typical tub it is a nice large has like a shower pan so it is a nice walk-in shower it has a nice pull out uh, curtain there you got your hanging uh, bag laundry bag that comes along with this and also the medicine cabinet here I want to show you it does open up has nice storage on the inside as well as your toothbrush holders at the bottom. Also in the base cabinet is your control panel. So this is where you check the levels of your black gray and fresh water tanks, your battery. Uh, this would also be if you're dry camping and you fill your fresh water tank, your water pump switch is on the right. And then your gas switch for the water heater is on the left. <clears throat> Outside of the bathroom, we will see a nice pantry from floor to ceiling. So a lot of nice storage there. Your thermostat, which operates your furnace and your air conditioner. Moving into the dinette, you'll also notice if you look at the pictures on our website, the table does collapse down if you need additional sleeping room. You do have accent lighting above the slide room. And one nice feature surveyor has here is uh, doors cabinet doors so you can access underneath your dinette seat at the front is what they call a murphy bed uh, you do have a his and a hers wardrobe on each side along with your nightstands drawer storage um, also underneath here are two nice large drawers that pull out uh, i will try to attempt this um one-handedly but I'll show you a little bit how the Murphy bed works. So if you do not need the bed space during the day, if there's a rainy day, you need more seating room, that flips up out of the way and then you have a jackknife sofa. So here we go, we're gonna give it a shot. But before I do that, I also wanna talk about this overhead cabinet here. This is your um, outside and in interior, exterior light switches, your slide room awning switch. And then you have your stereo down here at the corner and then you have your solar panel uh, controller here at the top so you can see how your uh, level of your battery and how it's charging. So here goes. We're going to give this a shot one-handedly. 
basically you pick this up, flip it up, and there is a latch on this side. Uh-oh, I'm struggling. <laughs> that there snaps into place right here. I got the plastic caught. So that snaps into place right there. And then you have your jackknife sofa. I'm going to back up here. As you can see, pick this up. Flip that down, and now you have a sofa as well as a dinette for the daytime. Privacy curtains, and there's your pull out drawers. I want to show you these are on uh, drawer guides, so they pull out very easily. A lot of nice storage in this model. I believe that concludes the inside of the 240 BHLE by Surveyor. You can contact myself or Henry or Jeremy at 866-338-9845. Again, my name is Phelan, and thank you for watching.